My name is Lauren Dentosa. I'm 34 years now. Um, I've been on the machine for nine years. Uh, since Kolebo went off, um, it's been really, really, really hard. I'm Naomi Dede Mensa. I'm 20 years of age. I've been on dialysis for about four years now. I'm Abigail Henua Minta, 27 years of age, and I've been on dialysis for seven years now. And my challenges are support for my dialysis. Three young girls, once optimistic about their future, were abruptly halted by kidney disease, shattered by the harsh reality of their health. I have to travel long distance from where I stay to Winneba. And because of the money issue, I do it once in a week. So for now, that's the, the situation at hand. And because I'm not able to do the twice I used to do, the financial burden is causing them to struggle to access vital dialysis at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital's renal unit. The doctor said I have to do dialysis uh, three times a week, but because of the finance issues, I've been doing it for two times a week. The once vibrant individuals are now confined to the heartbreaking act of begging for the chance to live. This situation is every time we are, you are begging, begging for support for your dialysis treatment. And most of the time, because we don't have regular dialysis, you feel weak. It's been six months since Kolebu has been closed. And from that time up to date, I've been going for dialysis once and it's affecting my health. Benton Edusa's journey to recovery has been heightened by the loss of his left eye due to the persistent disease. I was okay. All of a sudden, I can't see anymore. I, I don't enjoy life again. I don't feel happy because before I was seeing everything was okay for me, even with the kidney issue. But now this one is blind. And I'm using only this one. In their plea for a lifeline, the fervently advocate for the reopening of the renal unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital to reinstate crucial outpatient services. Uh, the Kolebu dialysis that should be open to the OPD patients. Still, we are having a lot of issues going out to the private places to do the dialysis. The prices are very high. We still can pay. So if our other colleagues who are seriously sick are paying 380 for Kolibu. Why is it that we are not being allowed also to come and pay the 380? People cannot pay. Uh, Kolibu is 380 and now the place has been closed down. People have to go to private facilities just to get dialysis. Kidney failure patients who visit the renal unit of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital facility for dialysis sessions are in distress. What makes it more heart-wrenching is that a total of 19 outpatients of the renal unit of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital have died after the unit was closed to them in May 2023. The patients who visit the hospital often have revealed to me. Godwin Asidiba, TV3.